Welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to use Adobe Acrobat 9 to convert a document into a PDF document. Now, there are actually quite a few different ways to go about doing this. If you're in a Microsoft Office application, you can go to the File menu and select the Save As command and choose PDF as one of the Save As options. Another way of converting a PDF uh, or converting a document into a PDF is by using what's called the PDF Writer. And this is a very frequently used uh, way to convert something into a PDF, and it's by going to the File menu and selecting Print and choosing PDF Writer as your printer. However, you shouldn't use the PDF Writer because what it's going to do is it's going to create an untagged, inaccessible PDF document. And what that basically means is individuals with visual disabilities that have to use a screen reader to read back the information out of a PDF document won't be able to do that. So your document will be inaccessible. So if you're going to directly convert the document over into a PDF from within a Microsoft application, you can go to File Save As, but don't use the File Print uh, option to convert something into a PDF. Another way to save something as a PDF is to actually use the Adobe Acrobat software to create the PDF directly from the file. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. I'm going to go ahead and click the Create button right there. And I'm going to say I want to create this PDF document from a file. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you can see my open dialog box comes up here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the, my desktop. And there's a sample document that I have selected. I'll click Open, and Acrobat is going to begin the process of converting it. Now, in order to do this, it's actually going to start up the application that created the document initially and use that. And you can see here, actually, you can see here, if I go ahead and move this down, Word 2010 is actually starting up. I'll move this Save As dialog box up. This is where you're going to give the document a name. And again, this is the PDF document. By default, it'll be the same name as whatever the source document was, in this case, memo text, and it'll have a period PDF on the end of it. If you're planning on posting this online for people to download, what I would recommend that you do is replace all the spaces that are in your file name with either dashes or underscores. Don't have any spaces there. So I've gone ahead and renamed that. I'm going to go ahead and click Save here. And I'm going to choose my desktop for the location. And when I click Save, Acrobat will swing into action and will create the PDF document for me. And it's going to take just a moment but eventually you're going to see the document opens up in Acrobat and has been converted into a PDF document. And I can see here in my upper left hand corner the name of the document that's been created. So here's our PDF file. Now a final and last way to convert a document into a PDF is by using a scanner. And there's a couple different ways that you can use a scanner to convert a paper document into PDF. One is to actually scan it in as an image. And the other way is to scan it in as editable text. Now the advantage to scanning a document in as, um, as an image is that it perfectly retains all the formatting, all the look and the appearance of the original. Unfortunately, when you scan a document in as an image, it's going to be inaccessible to people that have to use screen readers or other accessibility software. So if you're going to use a scanner to convert a paper document into a PDF, you're going to want to make sure you always scan it in as editable text. You'll lose some of the formatting and you'll have to work with the document um, after that but you won't um, have any problems with the accessibility if you set the document up that way as opposed to um, the image that you will have the accessibility problems in. So again, sort of to sum up, there are several different ways to convert something into a PDF. One is in your original source application, for example, Microsoft Word, you can go to File, Save As and choose PDF as your option. 
You can also, if you're in a Microsoft Office application, use the Acrobat tab in the top at the ribbon to convert something into a PDF. Or use the PDF Writer software, and you access that by going to File and Print. And again, if you're in your source application, you're always going to want to use the File Save As method, not the other two. And that way you're always certain that you're going to create an accessible PDF from there. And then you saw how we were able to directly from within the Acrobat software convert a document over into a PDF. And finally, if you have an original paper copy of a document that you need converted into an electronic PDF, in that case you're going to want to always scan it in as editable text, not as an image. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.